with this episode, it seems that we're in the final stages of the election because I'm pretty sure everyone knows that if they allow Pariston to drag this on anymore, then it's just going to, the votes are going to lean more towards him. In the beginning of this episode, we find a bit more about Pariston's mentality. Not too much though, it's very vague, being that he doesn't want to win and he doesn't want to lose either, which just makes this perfect fucking monster dude like we don't think of Patterson he's such a threat because we don't know what he's thinking he's just completely unpredictable and he'll do anything to just bring the votes to his side and he doesn't say exactly what he's thinking so he's just trying to sway everyone and we find out in this episode that I mean we pretty much all saw those cocoons during the Chimera Ant arc how there's 5,000 Chimera Ants in there and they can all use Nen and Pariston he can use those Chimera Ants and we don't know what he's gonna really do with them he's probably gonna I, like I don't fucking know man like I don't know where that goes we'll see and this was overall just a very simple episode didn't get too much for it it's just really progression progressing the election aspect of things and we did progress in the fact that Kilua is now in the location where Gon is so what happens there we'll see next episode and with the turnout of the election I'm pretty sure we're gonna see that in the next episode as well so from what it seems here everyone wants Leorio to be the next chairman but and everyone's playing like the pin game here like the fuck fucking ox is like oh give it to Cheetle. Cheetle's like give it to Leorio. Leorio's like let's save fucking gun man and Pariston's like give it to Ox so it's it's all just a whole big cluster right now and it seems that the votes are like shifted towards Leorio but with Pariston what he stated there those independent votes that were leaning more towards Leorio may just go to Pariston instead and Ultimately, if Leorio loses, then that gives Pariston like the best chance of winning. And just we can't have that. And just the final point that's really the final point of progression in this episode. So it was mainly focused on moving along the election aspect of things. We see what's going on with Kilua and what happens we'll see next episode. So as you can see here, there's really not that much I want to talk about. It was overall just a very simple episode. I thought it was pretty good. Um, we have, I believe, four more episodes after this, and that's honestly because I didn't address it in the last video when the news was announced, but it's very sad that we're just four episodes away from the end of this magnificent, magnificent series. Sorry, I'm still flipping apart, dude. I've had a lot of great memories with this series, and to see it go is just, it's its insanely sad, man. And hopefully we'll get fucking Hunter Hunter 2020. <laughs> Hunter Hunter 20, or maybe 2025, who knows, but it, it's definitely coming back. I mean, did I mention this in my last review? I don't think so. And if I did, then I'll just address it here. Um, you know, Hunter Hunter 2025 maybe but it's definitely going to come back so four episodes away pretty good episode and i'll see you guys later bye